from the Associated Press, and this is being reported by a number of outlets. They're saying that, uh, in fact, they said uh, Russian missiles, I'm pulling up, uh, I want to make sure I hit the, the Associated Press tweet because it's the one that is the least uh, hyperbole. Uh, Associated Press in Warsaw, they said senior U.S. intelligence official says Russian missiles crossed into NATO member Poland and killed two people. So now Article 5 is trending. Oh, boy. So, and they're saying, and this is also coming, it's coming from Associated Press, it's coming from ABC, it's coming from BuzzFeed, it's coming from everywhere now. So I'm sure we're going to get more information on this. Maybe we could have a press conference, uh, I don't know, with, you know, just get some insight from our defense officials. But I'm just saying, I, I, I tweeted out that I think War Inc. is rubbing their collective hands together on this. Because it could, because you have world leaders at G20 right now, and then you have this news that is coming, saying that uh, yeah, Russian missiles looks like they crossed into Poland, and if the, if all these reports are accurate, that could be incredibly concerning. If if what Associated Press is reporting is accurate, and Russian missiles crossed into Poland and killed two people, that could be concerning. So we're waiting for more reports on that, but that is what is that's what Associated Press is reporting. Uh, I have the, now I have the, uh, I think they have a story out on it now. This just hit eight minutes ago. I'll put this in Slack so you guys can, this just hit eight minutes. So that's the official AP story on it because they have people there on the ground. Uh, and they also apparently had a power grid attack and Sky News has it. Uh, uh, Ca Canadian News has it. Uh, Agence France Press. So it's uh, not, it's not good. If, if all accurate, it is not good. And so you have Article 5. Like I said, Article 5 started trending. That was Article 5 of, you know, because you remember what Biden was saying about NATO. And, oh, my gosh. <sighs> so I think now what you would have to watch and wait to see is if Poland invokes. I guess Poland would have to invoke Article 5. They would have to claim Article 5. Because the NATO alliance, Article 5 is an attack on one, is an attack on all. And so then the question would, uh, you know, is this, was it errant? Does errant trigger Article 5? So we should probably get Yates on tomorrow. Yay, Yates from his bunker. <laughs> Man. So this this will be very, uh, and uh, as we, as we, uh, we'll follow this and see. I, I'm just, and then, you know, you have the hyperbole, everyone's screaming, World War Three. Look, I'm going to tell you this, and I know it's been said before by, you know, a, a great individual that used to have my, have my uh, time slot, uh, who created my industry. If I, if I think you need to freak out, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's just how I look at it. So chill. Everybody chill. I mean, it's, there's, it's, I, I always go back to that you're going to hate me for saying this because some of you said I cite this movie way too much. But it's, it, no, not Lord of the Rings. I'm not actually going to cite Lord of the Rings. Oh, no, you thought I was going to go there. Yeah. No, Juan did too. Juan totally thought, no. I was going to cite the cinematic masterpiece, Kane. That is Roadhouse. Oh. Right? Where Patrick Swayze is like, you be nice until it's time to not be nice. So that's just, just chill and be cool until it's time to not be cool. There's no reason I'm freaking out over stuff. My, I, I don't know. That's just how I look at it. No reason freaking out over anything. I don't get excited over a thing until there's something to get, like, freaked out about or whatever. So, as I said, in reminiscent of some, some kindly advice that a great man who used to occupy this radio slot has shared with me, if I think you need to freak out, I'll tell you. So you can use me as your canary. I will willingly, I'll be your canary. So... If I think you need to freak out, then I'll tell you. And I'll keep an eye on all this, and I'll watch it. Uh, so, because it keeps me from from aggravating my uh, senior in high school about all the stuff that he needs to get done. And it helps me to not hover. So, I'll keep an eye on all this for you. Man, like, could it get any dumber? Juan had a really good observation when we were on break. He's like, hmm, very interesting that this is all happening. I mean, we're not conspiracy theorists. Let's play this game. We're not conspiracy theorists, kind of but, but 
It is a little weird.